Hey guys, I know I've been a little bit private about where we are and what we've been up to, um, and that is based on safety and legalities. However, I did get permission to make this video, so I want to show you guys where we are. This is one of the rentals, it's called Fifth Wheel. I think it sleeps about four people. This is called Ranch House. It has its own private tub there in the back and I believe it sleeps about six people. This is Starry Night. It's a cute little cabin for two. These are what they call the sages. They are dog friendly and you're right next to the goat paddock. So that's pretty cool. Here we have a couple of other camp hosts and then some RV sites, which I believe are eventually going to turn into a new parking lot. Hey, little schoolie. This is a nice new room you can stay in. It has a bed and a nice bathroom. Um, it's not open yet, but it will be soon and it's gonna be beautiful. These are some of our most popular experiential stays. Um, over there, that is the sheep herder, the little um, tan place. And then we have all of these teepees. Each teepee has its own private tub. And this one right in front of us has two beds, so sleeps four, and has its own private tub in the middle. Here's our front office and housekeeping room. This is Manny. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's one of the other camp hosts. <laughs> Look at all the merch we got. So then you come over here, and this is the hot spring. There's four waterfront cabins here. This is the lobster pot. It's kept at around 104 degrees, so it's a little bit warmer than the main pond, which is kept at around 101. These are private soaking tubs here. This is our most popular private tub, I'd say. We keep this, we keep all of them at 100 degrees and they're only $15 per person for the hour, so really not too bad. Nice, spacious changing rooms. These are our showers, and down here we have the bathrooms. This is going to be the new bathhouse building. It looks really nice on the inside so far. I don't know exactly when it's going to be opened, but um, on the back side of this is that um, antler cabin that I showed you earlier. These are called Coos, and they have some babies right now. They're about, I don't know, three weeks old maybe? They're so tiny and cute. These rooms up here all have different names to them and they have private tubs as well. These are some of the dry camping spots so there's no water or sewer or electric. It's just um, a picnic table and a fire pit. These are some more of the dry campsites um, and as you can see it looks like we're going to get a storm which would be much appreciated because it's like 85 degrees today. This little trail leads us to this pond back here where Ian and I frequently walk at sunset because it's so pretty. And all of the sagebrush right here is blooming. I don't even know if that's the correct terminology, but it smells so good.
Back here by the pond is what they call the overflow field. So when it gets really busy like it did last weekend with the giant loop ride event, this whole field was packed. So here's our commons room. There's always coffee. There's games. There's a piano. It's open 24 hours a day, so you can just chill in here. This is another really nice rental. Lots of beds. Um, probably my favorite. This is our camp kitchen. It's open 24 hours. Got a fridge, stove, microwave, sink. It's really cute in here. Around the back of the office is the Bird Stop, open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They have gourmet coffee and yummy breakfast. And last but certainly not least is our newest addition, the Coyote Flats RV Park. We have about 50 full hookup sites with the plan to add even more. And I think this might be where I have to conclude this video because it is starting to get a little dark and scary out here. We're supposed to get a uh, nickel-sized hail, so that should be fun. This is looking really, really scary. Like what? But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you come and visit Crane Hot Springs. It's in southeastern Oregon. So if you get the chance to come by this way, come visit and tell me what you think. Love you. Bye.